Hi again and welcome back to another great video. In today's video, we'll be having a look at the frequently used workflow of timeline matching and replacing. This seamless workflow allows you to see the connection between the timeline and the desktop. So for example, in advanced effects work, you would typically match the footage out the timeline onto the desktop, you'd perform your finishing tasks and then you would replace it back into the timeline and everything should remain in sync. Let's have a look at this workflow in a little bit closer detail. So here we have a timeline containing three shots and I would like to use Smoke's 3D Compositor Action to perform a finishing task on the middle shot. The first thing to mention is the edit could have been edited solely in Smoke or conformed from an offline application. The reason for mentioning this is you can see that the element has got head frames and tail frames. If you want to disregard the head frames and tail frames, you would simply copy the clip out the timeline by holding down the side button with your thumb and dragging the element out the timeline onto the desktop. This gives you a clip on the desktop with no handles and it contains the soft effects or timeline based effects all baked in. Sometimes this is okay if you're absolutely sure the edit will not change and it only consists of cuts. But if you know that you might have to adjust the edit as well as the dissolve, which is what we do all the time, you're better off matching the clip to the source with its handles on the desktop. To match the clip to the desktop, simply select it in the timeline. If you're using the smoke hotkeys, press the forward slash button on the keyboard, or if you're using the Final Cut Pro hotkeys, press the F button on the keyboard. Looking closer at this clip, you can see the in and out points on the source clip. This is important as the in and out points keep the clips synced and the duration matches the original in the timeline. Whatever tool you use on Smoke's desktop, the in and out points will always be preserved. Now let's take this clip as an example into action for some effects work. Just a little word of advice, load the clip as the background as well as the front image. The reason for this is that the in and out markers of the background are the only markers that actually become visible to action when you actually look at its time bar. Now just to speed things up, I'm going to go into the file browser and load an action setup. You can see in this result that the in and out markers are still in the time bar. Now you can process from frame 1 so that all the head frames are taken into account, but you can actually process from any frame before the in point marker so that the selection between the in and out markers are processed. Similarly, you can stop the process if you choose after the outpoint frame so that you don't have to render so many handles after the outpoint. Now let's quickly exit back to the desktop using the exit button on the left of the interface. Back out in the desktop, you can see the result clip with the same in and out markers. To replace the shot back into the timeline over the original source, you can use the hotkeys. Or you could use the source record viewer in the interface. To switch to the source record viewer, simply go to the left of the interface and next to the source area layout title, change the option from thumbnail to source record view. With the original clip selected in the timeline and the finished shot visible in the source viewer, you can click the replace button between the two viewers and the in and out points will be matched and the edit will then take place. Now you can see that the shot has been replaced in the timeline with the final shot. So that was the basics of matching and replacing in the timeline. There are also a few additional options for other situations which could occur. Situation 1. You already have soft effects on the original source clip that you wish to keep. By using the standard replace button, Smoke will overwrite the original source clips and its soft effects are lost. However, there is another option called Replace Source Media and this is located in the pop-up menu. Selecting this option will make Smoke keep the soft effects and only swap out the original source media that sits underneath the soft effects. It's really going to be a great way to make the timeline soft effects and the desktop effects work together in Smoke. Situation 2. Your result clip is shorter in length than the original. This could occur because you may choose to replace the result clip with a duration that is different to the original, or perhaps you want to change the shots completely. So the duration of the timeline clip is different to the one loaded in the source viewer. When pressing the replace option between the viewers, the new clip is replaced into the timeline and it's time warped to match the original clip's length. In other words, replacing one second in the timeline with a clip that is two seconds long 
results in a 200% speed motion effect which keeps the timeline's edit points identical even after the replacement has been performed. Let's quickly just undo this and try something a little bit different. The other option you have is called a ripple replace. This is also located in the pop-up menu under the replace option. When I choose this option, the original clip in the timeline will be replaced with the new one, but the timeline will shift down to make room for that clip. Now this is fine if you have other video and audio layers, you can also maintain the sync by enabling the sync option in the timeline before you do the ripple replace. So I'll just undo what I did and I'll enable sync and press the ripple replace button again. So you can see how the audio has shifted with the replace edit and this keeps the whole edit in the timeline in sync. The more you use your desktop tools, the more invaluable you'll find the timeline match and replace workflow. For more information about Autodesk Smoke or to download a free trial copy, just go to autodesk.com forward slash smoke for Mac. I hope you've enjoyed this short video and thanks for watching.